Hi guys, it's Suzette. Welcome back to my channel, Non-Toxic Glitter. So today I'm going to be doing May favorites. I did not get a chance to do April favorites, so I had a lot to share with you right now and I'm just gonna get right into it. So I already emptied out my bag. Sorry, it's a little bit dirty and I'm just gonna get right into it, okay? So first things I wanna talk about are some serums. So I have the Cersei Lash Serum. That's what I'm gonna start with first looks like this and the owner of Cersei, Miss Moores, Miss Sarah Moores reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in doing a review on her lash serum and her bra serum and I said I would. I've been using this for about a month now and wanted to kind of share with you what I'm thinking about it and obviously it's my main favorite. So this is the lash serum. You want to sh gently shake it. So that's kind of what I do. I just kind of gently shake it like this. And then when I open it, you just want to be really careful. I just take it, tap it out a little bit. The applicator is very tiny. You can see it, hopefully. Um, and then I like working it along the lash line, just the lash line, only on the top lashes. Um, I've definitely seen growth. I feel like my lashes are super soft. Um, it's gentle. It's There's no hormones in this. This is just Chinese um, herbal uh, extracts and things like that. And there's no like any extra hormones that usually make like darken that area. I haven't had any issues with darkening. And I personally feel like this is really working. It's gentle. I don't have any irritation. And I've had eye surgery too. So that's how I was really ready to review this product. But I love it so far. I use it all the time and I'm going to keep using this. So. And I will be posting, and I have been posting um, updates on how my lashes have been growing. So this is the Cersei Brow Serum. It looks like this. I also want to do the same thing. You want to make sure you shake it up. And then what I like to do is make sure I clean off the edges of it because Ms. Moores was explaining this is very concentrated, so you only need a little bit. So I like to make sure that I wipe off the excess so I don't waste it because it's expensive. And this is a doe foot, so you can see. And then I like going in, especially in my tails, that's the area that I need the most growth. I like just like pushing it into those areas and then kind of sweeping out gently, longer strokes. I only need a little bit because it is an oil, so it's gonna, or a serum, so it's gonna penetrate. But this is amazing, and I've definitely seen growth right on this tail and on this tail. I'm gonna keep using this, but I love it. And is a beautiful product, so there's that. Moving on to my next product, this is the Cool Lip Lux. This is an SPF 30. This is just a lip balm, but I use it, of course, for my SPF to protect my, my, protect my lips, and it works. I use it every day, so there's that. Next product I'm really excited to talk about, this is the Grown Alchemist Anti-Pollution Primer. It looks like this. This is a deluxe sample that I received in my Credo Beauty gift with purchase for spring I just got. I've used a lot, a lot, as you can see. I will be purchasing a full size. This has a comparison to me, like a dupe of, but a clean version of, if y'all have ever used the Becca Ever Matte Primer, this reminds me of that so much. Um, I am extremely oily on my forehead and I apply this and it's like, it just absorbs my oil. So um, I'm gonna buy a full size of this and I cannot wait. And I love the fact that it's like a little pink packaging too. So this is what it looks like when you open up so you all can see. And then I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit. It's like a clear base, as you can tell, it even looks like the Evermatte, but it is clean. And then as you can see, it's like my skin is just perfect now. I can't, I just can't describe it. And once it dries down, it's like instantly. So I have it on my face today. I love it. It's cut me matte. It's beautiful. This is a beautiful formula. So when I run out of the sample, I'm going to be buying full size. Next item is my Mineral Fusion Smoothing Eye Primer. I think I have talked about this more times than I can remember. It's a little tube, but it's a powerful tube. This guy is like a little tacky of a sub, more of an eye primer, which I love. I pat it down, apply my eyeshadow, good to go. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, there's not really much to say. It's just amazing. So there's that. I'm going to keep buying it. Mineral Fusion is also a clean and EWG verified product line. So they're non-toxic as well too. So I love that. Next 
item. So we're just gonna jump right into foundations because I'm kind of moving fast, but there's a lot of products and my May favorites are gonna be my monthly favorite every month. So this is the Youngblood Liquid Mineral Foundation Deep Sea Hydrating Complex. It looks like this. And this is the shade Doe. It is a pump style. So this is, it says cream makeup provides moisture with a lasting radiant finish. Exclusive deep sea hydrating complex contains ocean minerals, nutrients, and botanicals. Leaves skin silky smooth and pore free. It does. It's a gorgeous finish. Um, I feel like when I have this on, my skin just looks really radiant and youthful. And so, you know, I'm getting older and I, I talk on my channel a lot about, you know, skin that's over 30. And this is just a beautiful finish. Um, I don't have any issues with breaking out. It covers my redness really well, but also I don't look like I have seven pounds of makeup kicked on, which you know, y'all know I like a natural finish. So this is paraben free, talc free, and also cruelty free, and it is a clean brand. So I will definitely continue to purchase it. Next item is a foundation as well. This is the Edit Perez Quinoa Water Foundation in shade Dusk. And I have it in the box because I don't want it to break. It as a glass style bottle. Take it out. So y'all know I did it specific for some fresh, well, my thoughts and reviews on Edit Perez. Amazing. So this is what it looks like. And you always want to make sure you shake it up pretty vigorously. This is what it looks like. And I know it looks pretty dark, but it actually blends down really nicely on my skin. So I didn't bring out a napkin or anything with me, otherwise I would just watch this for you. But I have a, a post and then I have another whole video on it um, on my channel. So you can watch to see what, you, what I think about this foundation. It's gorgeous. It's a water foundation, so it's very, very li liquidy. I highly recommend using a buffing style brush with this, applying a few drops and then doing circular motions across your face. That way it blends down nicely and once it dries it's not going anywhere and it's like i have nothing on my face when i wear this foundation i get compliments all the time it's beautiful easy to work with once you get the technique down and the owner is a mexican woman and so i definitely like supporting you know mexican businesses because i'm mexican as well so and also a woman so i like you know supporting our women so this is amazing and yeah i love it i'm gonna keep buying it and I'm excited to try the other foundation, the oat foundation as well. So if y'all have tried the oat foundation, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Next one, I'm sure you guys weren't surprised about this. This is my Well People Biotint. Talk about this on my Instagram, talk about it on my IGTV, talk about it on my posts, everything. This is one of the best, best foundations I've ever used in my entire life. Um, it's a clean brand, it's also UWG verified. This is a plant-based foundation, so um, it's just, it's amazing. I have it on today, as you can see. It doesn't go anywhere. It's got SPF in it. Um, it's gentle on my skin. My skin just looks beautiful when I have it on. It's, I mean, some of the things it says is it hydrates, brightens, firms, covers, protects. And I feel like it does that. It, my skin just looks stunning after I put it on. Um, and it has like a little bit of a radiant glow as well too. I like to set my makeup because I have oily skin, but this is the shade medium. Um, once I run out, I'm gonna buy another one. I love all people. I talk about them on my channel all the time. It's one of my favorite clean brands. And yeah, everything in their line is plant-based. So this is amazing. Next item, figured you wouldn't be surprised. This is the concealer by Well People. This is a BioCorrect concealer. It's a shade medium. And this little tube is amazing. So it looks like this, it's got like a little squeeze and I just can't get over like the creaminess of this. So I'm gonna do it tiniest bit because it's really all you need. So when I apply this, I prefer to use my finger honestly because it's just so creamy, it blends out so beautifully. But I just have that tiny little bit there to show you. But, and what I like to do is just pat it right into my skin. And I, I just, I can't describe to you how it makes my, uh, it just looks beautiful. So I have it on underneath my eyes right now. And then I have a little bit down here as well, but it's just the most gorgeous finish ever. And it's comfortable, it doesn't crease, it's beautiful. Um, 
it just it makes my under eyes look wonderful so a little bit of a brightening a lot of a brightening without looking cakey so this is one of the best concealers i've ever used in my entire life next two items i kind of have groups of each one for work and then but also you know so i have two here of course well people this is the bio brightener invisible powder looks like this just open it a tad because it is a little windy out. No, it's a little worse. So there's that. It's got like a white hue to it, but it completely is just invisible, obviously. Just like it says. This sets my makeup, doesn't budge, doesn't crease. It's gorgeous. No issues with breakouts. I'm gonna have this in my little collection my whole life. I love it. Next item is my Ere Perez Corn Translucent Powder. I have it in the box because I'm just silly and I'm worried like it's gonna break or something because it's such a fragile product. But this is what the packaging looks like. Just this lux like gorgeous luxury packaging. And it's got, the compact comes with a little puffer. It's a mirror, so I don't wanna blind y'all. This gorgeous little puffer thing and then the actual corn powder. And I have it on today, I use it to set my face. It's just stunning. Um, it sets, it doesn't budge, it's beautiful. Um, doesn't have a scent, of course, but like I said, if you want luxury, um, I consider this like the Chanel of clean beauty. It's just so elegant and stunning and beautiful and, and I love having this in my collection because I pop it out of my purse and it's just so beautiful, so it's amazing. So if you haven't tried any Eddie Perez products, you should definitely try it, so there's that. Moving right along to bronzers, two of them here. One of them is my Well People Bio Base Big Bronzer. And I don't want to blind y'all with the end of it, but there it is. It's just this beautiful bronze. I, the best way to describe it is like it's just a trusty, amazing bronzer. Like it gets the job done. Um, easy to blend out with multiple different kinds of brushes, whatever if you want to use a stippling or a traditional bronzer brush. Matte, stays put, gorgeous finish. And I, it just gives me a good hue without looking like I'm wearing an orange shade or overpowering or too much. So I love this guy and I've been putting some work on it as you can see. So I just like saying that's really silly, but so that's in my collection and always going to have that guy on me. And then my other little one, my little friend here, is my Hand Skincare Cosmetics. This is their all natural bronzer shade, is Maui. I have talked about this bronzer a million times on my channel. Also, putting some serious work on it. And this is just that traditional bronze color. It's like that cocoa, and it smells a little bit like cocoa, which I love. But stunning matte brown. Um, it works perfectly on my skin and my skin tone. I have it on right now, of course. Uh, when I do my like, cheek area, I have it on my, my eyeshadow as well. It's beautiful. So, Han is gorgeous products, affordable, and they're clean. So, I love them. Next item is my multi stick. This is also from Han. This is the shade Roseberry, but I have Bordeaux Glow as well. And it comes in a little cardboard kind of style. And then you just pop it out. And then this is what it looks like. I'm gonna move a little bit. So it looks like that. And then you pop off the top. It's got like that perfect rose color and I do have it on my cheeks right now. And then I have swatched it right here. A few minutes ago I swatched it, sorry. But this is just gorgeous. It, it doesn't move. It's, it's beautiful on my skin. It shows up really nicely. Um, and I think this was like 15 bucks, super inexpensive, but I just, I love it. So, and th these are amazing multi-sticks as well, so. Next item is my Well People Expressionist Brow Gel. Who'd have thought, right? This is a shade dark brown. And this is definitely a dupe for the Benefit Gimme Brow. This is what it looks like. So it's a little tiny brush, just like that one. I can get right into my arch. And then I like to actually sweep my hair forward and it looks very silly looks like it looked like the Grinch and then I slowly sweep it through it just stays all day um, and then it doesn't move it kind of is like just seals in my brow so if you're a low maintenance brow like me this is a must try and um, I'm, I'm gonna keep it in my collection 
collection. I love it. And I'm going to buy it again when I need to. So definitely amazing. The other brow product that I've been using and loving is the Lily Lolo Eyebrow Duo. Looks like this. And then this is the shade Dark Brown. And my only complaint about this eyebrow duo is the mirror. I don't, see so it's got a little mirror. I don't, I don't think that's very necessary to put in there. I think it's kind of a waste of space, but there's the wax, which I've used it a lot. So I'm sorry, it's dirty. And then of course the brow powder, but it's amazing. I take it and put it on my brow brush and then I like focusing more on my tail and it's just, it doesn't move. Like that's my brow. It was easy. It took me about 20 seconds to do. I just apply it and then I leave it. So. This is amazing. A little bit goes a long way, but again, I'm putting work in there. I love it. Next item is, this is my Lash Food Collagen Conditioning Lash Primer. It's a mouthful. Um, this is amazing. I talk about this on my channel and I post all the time. The rubber styled brush on it is really beautiful. You can see, so. <laughs> um, I laugh because like, you don't have to worry about poking yourself. So I'll go like right there and just get right in there. And then the bottom lashes, you just kind of, and it just covers them. So it's amazing, super inexpensive, like $20. It lasts for a while. And the cool thing about this that I didn't actually know, but I like telling my followers is, you can use it as an overnight mask right on the directions. You apply it at nighttime and then sleep on it and it's conditioning your lashes. So yeah, if you don't use lash primer, use lash primer. It's gonna baby your lashes and keep them nice and strong, so. Next product is my Well People Expressionist Volumizing Mascara. I'm sure y'all would have guessed that. Talk about this so much, use it so many times on all my posts regularly. Nothing but great things to say about this mascara. So let's start with the obvious. The brush is gorgeous, looks like that. Um, this, the hourglass just gets right into every single lash. It's just, and then my bottom lashes as well. Like you can blink, you could wriggle, you can do whatever and it's not gonna move and it's just gonna get your lash. Um, this has like a very planty smell, which I love. Um, very dark black, I have it on my lashes right now. It's gorgeous, volume, um, definition, curl. It's just the best. So I'm always gonna use this. It's definitely top three favorite mascaras of all time. So, yeah. Next item, we're kind of shifting now. Um, I'm gonna talk about this lip liner. This is by Honey Bee Gardens. This is a shade Perfection. I'm gonna do a little bit of a swatch for y'all. This is what I would consider the perfect shade of like a spiced cinnamon color. But, and I feel like it's perfectly named because it's literally perfection. There's that, it's all over it outside lining. Um, creamy, stays put all day, and I wear it with everything, and it's just gorgeous. And um, also a little bit about Honeybee Garden. So the owner, I talk to her on Instagram all the time. She's so sweet, she's so funny, very interactive with her clients. Highly recommend you check out Honeybee Garden. This was, I think, $8 or something. All of her products are very affordable, and they are amazing. I also have her pressed powder foundation and like the little set that came with it, it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna be buying this shade again and other colors to try too. So best lip liner ever. Next item is my lipstick. This is the Optimus Semi Matte Lipstick by Well People. And it's like a raisin shade, which I am gonna show you. So I always laugh, but I like showing people this. So as far as innovation, check this out. I just love that. So Well People really, knocked it out of the park with this because the color is stunning. It's like a raisin color. And then I'm gonna do a course swatch, but it doesn't budge. It's comfortable on the lip. And I wear it every day for work and I love it. It compliments on it. Feels super nice on the lip. Um, and that's important because if your lips are super dry or whatever, you're not gonna wanna wear the product, right? So this is amazing. And it's pretty affordable for a clean lipstick as well. And I just, I love the package. Next item, we're almost done guys. So next item is my Lily Lolo lip gloss. And I have this on today with my liner. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna do a little swatch on top here. It's comfortable, it's creamy. Um, it's, the, it, the color's gorgeous. What it looks like right there on top. 
and it's just like that perfect bubblegum pink so Lily Lola products are clean I use them all the time I have a bunch of their products that I use and I get my Lily Lola products from Credo so this is amazing I'm a lip gloss, lip gloss kind of girl I love this lip gloss but not least, this is the Cover FX Mattifying Setting Spray. So what you want to do is shake it up and then, of course, take top off to spray it. This has kale and clay in it, so if you are okay with kale and clay, it's going to just mattify your skin. You spray it on, I just let it dry down, and then it just doesn't budge. And it's got like a really nice clean smell. Yeah, it just got like a really nice clean smell. Um, it doesn't smell like alcohol, it's not heavy, and my makeup just stays, and it keeps me nice and matte. So I love this, um, and I actually won this one in a Cover FX giveaway. However, this is my third bottle, so I have purchased my own, and I love it. So that's what I use, and that is it for my May favorites. Thank you so much for sticking through if y'all stayed with me the whole time. I hope y'all enjoyed my video. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!